we're going to tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. <laughs> That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time. But after Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady. But neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists. Murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. I remember. Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka. Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the Constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right, so here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. 
Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real Shadow Clan. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail, a Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive, and we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven, I have marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck. That is Nolan Cassidy, former Secret Service agent and current Providence Herald, Cassidy is assigned to protect Janus. Yeah, I can let you pass. I'm sorry, sir.
recording of some sort. The note mentions another house. Perhaps Cassidy is using one of the vacant buildings as a base of operations, 47. Did you review all the mail going up from Janus's house yet? No. I got sidetracked by all the activity surrounding that politician who came to visit. Hmm. Well, I've got another letter that needs to be looked at before we allow it through. Cassidy made it clear that we'll have no leaks coming from here. I'll put it in the pile when I have time. Got it. So Cassidy withholds Janus's outgoing mail. He might have written something considered confidential in the past. Might be worth a shot. Okay, there is a naked male here. Uh, very dead. Dead and naked. Cassidy looks to be a gun enthusiast. The room looks like it's outfitted with a lot of security and alarms. Okay, I have a description on this bastard. Don't make this any worse on yourself. Come on now. Damn it. He's going to be so annoyed. Area clear. Proceeding to next sector. I'm pretty sure he was burying something back there. And I just figured since you guys seem to be, you know, working together, you, you might know about it. Can't say that I. Someone from Janus's security detail buried something in the frog habitat behind Cassidy's house. What could that possibly be? What the hell is this? Give it a. I... A letter from Janus to someone called Zoe. It looks like a draft, and is full of explicit descriptions of how unhappy Janus is with Zoe and his sister having been appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Huh. I've heard that name before. This is a good find, 47. Sir, back off. Understand?
Hey, did you grab the pack of smokes that was thrown over the fence from the old guy's garden? No, man. Uh, I'm trying to stop. So, Janus smokes despite being dependent on an oxygen tank and his bodyguard's insistence on hiding his cigarettes. I wonder what might happen if he combined the two. You know, I think someone in there is trying to help the old geezer stop as well by throwing his coffin nails over the fence. It seems pointless. There's no reason for him to kick the habit when he's already so close to kicking the bucket. I say, let the old man smoke. Have you seen that oxygen tank here in the window? He's fast. He's got a body on the ground. Hold on. Don't! <laughs> That's not an ordinary resident of Whittleton Creek, 47. This must be one of Cassidy's men working undercover. I suggest you keep an eye out for more of them. Yeah, so the other day I accidentally asked Janus about that urn in the basement. Big mistake. <laughs> Haven't you learned anything yet? How long did he talk for? Oh, can't really be sure. Zoned out eventually. It's not as bad as that time I used the gramophone to the house, though. Man, that tune kicked off some old memories and some long ass stories. He dragged me down to the basement and showed me all of his memorabilia. You know how it works. Interesting. Maybe you should try to spark some of those old stories, 47. Who knows what secrets James might reveal. Well, I've learned my lesson, that's for sure. Why would anybody do a stupid thing like that? I wouldn't give a nice pack of Novaya right now. I remember the first pack I had back in 67. Nothing will ever come close. Certainly not this thing. The doctors have recommended you don't smoke cigarettes, Mr. Janus. I know damn well what the doctors have recommended. I got to be my age by not following their recommendations. Doctors are clueless homicide detectives poking around random people's bodies searching for clues as to the cause of death before the patient is even dead. 
They have no idea about how anything works. Guessing their way through fatality after fatality, telling people what they should or should not do with their tiresome recommendations. You've got the cravings all right, Mr. Janice, but doctor's orders are doctor's orders. Bah! Say, Gunther, did you see my photograph? Janus is looking for an old group photo. It might be interesting to see who's on it. Good work, 47. All there is left to do now is wait. One of Janus's old microfilms. It might contain important information. All you need now is to find a device to read it on. going anywhere for a long time. I'm not talking about dying, Gunther. I'm talking about my trip. Ah, uh, of course. Uh, we'll have it sorted out. Tell me, Gunther, what is your impression of this new film? generous of you, and dare I say, American? My plan is simple. Use my lawyers and the vast resources of my network to drag this out in court until the man runs out of money. With a little luck, he should be forced to sell that house of his in a year's time. So yes, I suppose you're right. It is the American approach. Brutal, Mr. Janus. That's just brutal. Ah, there you are. I may have one foot in the grave, but without my smokes, I might as well be dead. <laughs> as old Trotsky said, just as a lamp... Death feels like an easy way out for a man like him. Still. Okay. We are close now, 47.
was that? Long night, eh? Listen, I swear I have a license for it. I just don't bring it with me. You can't just confiscate my property. I need it to get rid of an aggressive invasive mole. This is poor old man that died. Calm down, Devil. Okay, everything's good. Say what? They can do nothing to report. Command, some joker's throwing shit around. I'll get back to you, over. Drop off the surveillance tapes on Janus at the house. Cassidy was asking for them earlier. Yeah, added them to the pile. What a stupid system. Record the surveillance in the attic, bring the tapes over to HQ and review them there. The recorder is perfectly capable of playing the tapes as well. Why not just keep them here? What, risk the owners mm. of this house suddenly coming home? Cassidy is certainly keeping a close That's watch ideal, on but it's better to keep the tapes safe in I'm our willing to bet house. those surveillance yeah. tapes hold well, interesting I'm tired information. Of climbing that damn rickety ladder over there. Residential jobs, they, they stress me out. I know what you mean. There's a lot to keep track of. Man, I'd rather just walk in some act around while they run their weekend errands. Richard, you are such a fool! <laughs> Start flipping burgers now. Come on, just out, chin up. Ah, you need this room? Don't mind me. I'll find somewhere else. Mind me, I'm just leaving.
Richard seems like a stand-up guy, and Susan is... Hi. Uh, whatever. All right, folks. The food is ready. Hello. Why don't you give this a try? Did I Thanks. No, thank you. Ah, fine. Look, this is me left and right here. Pardon me. Can I offer you a little treat? Huh? Thanks, I guess. Enjoy. Hello. Can I tempt you with a little well, snack? Looks pretty busy here. I'll just wait my turn instead of trying to Any time. Ah, there's an open spot. So, excuse me. Here. I hear it's all to die for, sure Mr. Cassidy. Cassidy. Thanks. I guess. Sure thing. Thank you very much. Oh, I don't think I can hold this down for long. You should try this. Oh. Hmm? Leave. Oh, okay. You need to see a doctor. Now. I know it's not Is that? Business. It's a story. Cheers. My pleasure. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. I know how you feel. If it's any help, it will pass. Everything passes. Uh -huh. I ever had. I'm supposed to meet a client for a house showing today, but <laughs> I can't stop eating. Maybe you know him. Mr. Nolan Cassidy? Um, can say that I do. A but... realtor with a taste for the sweet things in life is in Whittleton Creek to show a house to Nolan Cassidy. It looks like he's stuck at a local muffin stand at the moment. It would be a shame to keep Cassidy waiting, wouldn't it? He's, uh, he's interested in the Schmidt house down the road. Huh? You know, the one that we shut down after being well. I'm not really from around here. I don't know anything. I well, never mind. You're good. You're good. Home stretch.
looking to okay oh geez darling i'm Sorry. so hungry Mr. Cassidy, I'm sorry for the delay. I'm ready to take you to the house. About Don't work too hard, friend. Let's go. You know which one it is, right? Mr. I'm telling you, these new folks are strange. Did you see that Cassidy guy snooping around here? He's been looking at the party three times already. Why not just go inside? It's open to everyone. I consider getting in the real estate yeah, business. Yeah, it's then strange, all right. Oh, maybe he's a vegan. I hope you've got your presentation in order. I don't want this to be a waste of time, you understand me? Of course, Mr. Cassidy. I've been eyeing this place for some time. I trust we can make a quick execution here. Yes, Mr. Cassidy. Station 5. Still nothing to report. Finally, I've had my eye on this place for quite some time. This is the downstairs living room. It is most commonly used for watching television and other recreational purposes. Large room with two easy to get to exits. Dark floors hide stains easily. A room with lots of potential. I don't know, got anything more interesting to show me? It's all very familiar. Ah, finally. I've had my eye on this place for quite This long. is the downstairs living room. Not this again. It is most commonly Show me used something for else, watching right? television. Ah, finally. I've had my eye on this place for quite some time. Let's see what sort of secrets she holds. This is the upstairs hallway. It connects all the rooms up here. Add a few closets or a large box in a corner, and the room's practical value becomes apparent. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it in here. What else can you show me? Yet another room up here. I suppose you could use it as an office or recreational room of some sort. Maybe a place to store your memorabilia. Eh, interesting, I suppose, but not really something that seals the deal for me. Here we have the master bathroom. Shower, toilet, double sinks. Perfect for the busy couple, and large enough to allow for privacy, even when occupied by two people at the same time. Yeah, that's not gonna make me buy this place. Let's move on. A spare bedroom, in case you have a lot of house guests. It could also be used as an upstairs office or a storage space with easy access to the attic above. What about storage possibilities? Anything of that nature you could show me? A spare bedroom, in yeah, case you, you have a lot of house guests, could use this for many things. Eh, interesting, I suppose, but not really something that seals the deal for me.
the kitchen. Gas yeah, you stove. said that already. Let's move Vinyl. On. And here's the basement. The usual boiler elements are to be found down here. And it seems a room with a safe of some sort. Now that is more like it. That looks just like a vault. This, this is very interesting. I'll just wait here till you get that door open. Nice work, yes. Forster. This is more Let's like it. Let's hope he doesn't set off this the alarm somehow. Use. Very nice indeed. All right, let me have a look at this thing. Advanced Kronstadt Matrix Laser Home Security System. <laughs> we used to break these open for training at the Academy. The thing about these systems is, most homeowners are lazy. So, they don't reset the factory settings and enter their own codes. Let's just try the standard admin code, just for fun. Well, what do you know? It worked. Looks like Schmidt was a bigger amateur than I imagined. Frank, go outside and check the garden. I want to know how visible this vault is from the outside. Anything sticking out of the ground, weird sloping things like that. You got it, sir. So you're looking to sell this for, uh, how much was it again, 1.1? Sounds about right. I suppose that's not unreasonable. And his vault unit looks quite versatile. Internal climate control and explosive laser security. All the comforts of home. Yes, quite interesting. And a nice looking safe in here too. Any idea what the previous owner was using this for? No idea. Maybe a mausoleum. No, no don't turn it back! Casting taken care of. Both targets are confirmed killed. I know, but this batty guy is driving me crazy. Every time he sees me, he comes out and wants to talk. And the problem is he just won't shut up. Always ranting about that damn lawsuit against Janus and waving piles of paper at me. As if I give a rat's ass about their problems. Let the judge sort it out. What do I want? A lawsuit I want between to Janus and a local no, resident. Tell him to get Might me be up. just what we're looking for. I want added pay for this Batty one. lives in number 432. Just pick one. All right, Doc, sorry. I'm just stressing out here, okay? Please, do what you can, all right? And I'll talk later. Janus is apparently engaged in a civil lawsuit with another resident of Whittleton Creek. James Batty, the plaintiff, wants Janus to stop his annual landing of a helicopter near the local creek. Batty claims it interrupts the nesting birds and a species of frog that has been declared endangered. Must be a very important trip given his poor health.
that Janus and the Constant will meet up soon. I don't think we'll be able to identify the partners today, but this is very useful. The tape doesn't specify where that meeting will take place, however. We need that final bit, 47. So, we know that Janus is expecting to leave Whittleton Creek via helicopter, and that he's going to meet the Constant at some event. I think it's time to look inside Janus' house for more clues. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with the Constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this. Society, one of Providence's more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite, billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted, no names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst, but it seems to me Janus was the Ark Society's founder, so chances are they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. You're right. It comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but... Like it happened to someone else. <laughs> your gift and your curse. What they did to you. Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes. Found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. But this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. 
Await the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. Like I said, it's a long shot. We'll take it.